Hello students, welcome to all of you to our CINE kid class. Today, we're going to be working uh, with our notebook, our student's book, and probably a dictionary. Today's class is going to be about compound nouns. Relative hey guys, today we're going to continue with last class topic, which was compound nouns, and we'll start with kind of a warm-up and review from the words you saw last class. But before we start, I need you to remember that a compound noun is a noun made from at least two words. Okay, now let's explain the activity, um, which is something similar to what we did last class with a small twist. So here's the deal. I'm going to show you some pictures and you must write the answers on your notebook. The compound nouns from the images are the ones you saw last class, however there are a few we didn't see but are common so you might know them. Anyway, try your best and remember you only have 10 seconds per image and you can't open your book yet. That means no cheating. Alright, let's start. Try to focus in this and not in this, and remember you only have 10 seconds per picture. Hit sunrise. Next. Your answer should be skateboard. Now, remember there are a few we didn't see last class, however, you might recognize them. It's shopping mall. This one is air pollution. Next. Sea life. Rainforest. Here, look at this. The answer is not fish, but it has something to do with it. Fish net. If you read this, you might have a hint. Billboard. Surfboard. Now, try to think what causes this. It's global warming. Next. Fishing boat. This one's easy, and the answer is not Xbox, so try to look more like this. Video games. Shopping bags, next one. This one might be hard, but just try to look. This one is an ad of. It's an advertisement from a recycling program. This one's easy. Rainbow. And that's it. Hi. Now, I want to start giving you some details about relative clauses, which are used for different things and they're known like they're kind of adjectives. And they we're gonna discover what is the real use of these words. I know you have already used them somehow, but maybe we have never gone deeply to the purpose of these words. So we're gonna have who, which and that, and where. Remember, who it's used for people, which and that for things and where for places, just like questions, okay, like WH questions. Here we have different sentences that we can use for relative clauses. Let's look at the first two. If you see, we have uh, two different rows and they have different blue tones, okay? 
So each one of the blue tones goes with another of the different tone. Let's read them. Puro has a factory. The factory turns fishnets into plastic. If you look at this sentence, you can see that it's repeating the word factory. Has a factory, the factory. That's where relative clauses takes place. So it would be something like Puro has a factory which turns fishnets into plastic. Okay, so so good. Let's try the next one. Kevin is a friend of mine. He loves the ocean and surfing. That one doesn't repeat the word Kevin, but it's also uh, probable to make it shorter. So you say, Kevin is a friend of mine who loves the ocean and surfing. Okay? Next one. Burrell makes skateboards. People want to buy those skateboards. Here, you repeat different words. And we can do something like this. Burrell makes skateboards. People want to buy. If you look at this part, the word that, it's not necessary. Okay? You can put it or you can just leave it like that. Good. So we're going to be working on our defining relative clauses, which is exercise one from our student's book. So you're going to move on to 8C. And we're going to start with the first exercise, which I'm going to be helping you out with. So they got together with a friend who also loves the ocean and surfing, Kevin Ahern. Bureau has set up a fishnet recycling program that makes it easy to get rid of all nets. Bureau has a factory in Chile which turns the old nets into plastic material to make skate. So, we have already read, now we have to answer to the questions. In each sentence, what noun does the pronoun in bold refer to? The first one says, uh, Who refers to a friend because it says they got together with a friend who also loves, okay? So, so. The next one, let's read the sentence. Puro has set up a fishnet recycling program that makes it easy. What are they talking about? The fishnet recycling program, okay? And then, Puro has a factory in Chile which turns the old nets into plastic material. So, they're not talking about Chile because he doesn't say where. If it said something like, um, Puro has a factory in Chile where you can eat chocolate, maybe. Maybe it will refer to Chile, but not really. They are talking about the factory, okay? Now, what do the words after that who and which introduce? Let's see. The pronouns that who and which introduce the more information about the nouns that come before them, okay? So they always give more information about what was mentioned before. The information that comes after the relative clauses, it's important to the meaning of the sentence. For example, if I say, uh, Sene students um, who love to study English come to class twice a week. Okay? Yes? I'm giving additional information which is important, that you love to study English. Okay. Let's continue. Oops. I went faster. Okay. Yes. Now, in exercise number two, you have some sentences and you can complete them with options A, B, and only in sentence one, C. We're going to do number one and two together, but I want you to do three and four on your own. Okay? You can pause the video if you want, or you can go on with me and check number one and two, and then you pause it. So, the first one says, RG Julius is a home furnished store in Madrid. These are things, for example, a vase. We have to complete the sentences with the correct options, and we have A, B, and C. We already used letter B, so it would say, At Hulos, it's a home furnishing store that specializes in upcycle products in Madrid. These are things that used to be other things. So we know that the word upcycle, it's referring to something that was something else in the past and was used again to create something new. For example, a base that used to be a light bulb. Good. The past object was a light bulb. The present object is a base. Good. Now, let's try number two. Asher J is a designer. We already have a clue there. They're talking about a person. Should we use A or should we use B? Asher J is a designer who creates art and advertising. 
She brings attention to global issues. Global issues, okay, is the topic they're talking about. So we use that needs solutions, including environmental and human rights issues. Good? So please, try to complete this part with the options that you have in the tenses. The tips are very simple. Identify which is the pronoun that they're using. Are they talking about a place, a person, or a thing? Okay, and then you can select the... Hello guys, it's teacher Dani, and today we're gonna work on activity number three. So let's start. We're gonna talk about Erika Tomasek. She has been called the queen of the DIY or do it yourself. She creates a website that's called PS I Made It, and she inspires people around the world to use recycled things. So let's go to her website. This is her website, and here we have some categories like fashion, lifestyle, food, beauty, craft mat, and other ones. And it looks like this. So I decided to select the food one and they gave me um, these options but also over here we have more and I decide to select marshmallow macarons and when we open it we could uh, see over here that we have an image of the product then we have a description of it they tell us what are, what are we needing to do it and also we have the process i think it's a very good idea this quiet time this uh website because it's something new it's something you don't normally do it's creative and it's a very good option so let's continue i'm gonna ask you please to take out your notebook because you're gonna use it right now and we're gonna do a list of four items that you use or enjoy during the day that you feel you cannot live without it. Some examples of them are what are the plans, learn something new like new language, new activity, play video games or chat with your friends, watch some videos or some Netflix. I'm gonna please stop the video and do your list and then we're gonna continue okay so i'm gonna ask you something how many of them are homemade and how many of them you bought them on a store or you bought them outside also put that um next to the activities okay because we're gonna use them later so let's continue we're doing activity number three that says read the article cross out the related pronouns where possible the title of this um short text is shopping for clothes for clothes to upcycle and it starts like this every year about 10 billion kilograms of old clothes and material that no one wants ends up at, in the trash. Erika Tomasek, the fashion designer who started the popular website PSIMadeThis.com, wants to change that. She shows people who want to dress in an original, interesting way how to upcycle old clothes. You can use old clothes that you no longer wear or cheap clothes which come from thrift stores. If you are someone who loves shopping, the thrift store option is a good one. You get the pleasure that comes from shopping with the pain of spending a lot of money. In one video, Erika Domasek shows how you can choose a t-shirt in color that you really like and turn it into a fashionable scarf. Do you remember, did you remember what a thrift store is? Yeah. It's a store that sells secondhand clothes. We call them here in Mexico like tianguis. Okay, so please pause the video and do the exercise by yourself, and then we're gonna check the answers. Okay, so let's check them. Number one, 
you're gonna take it away. Number two and three, you're gonna leave them like that. Number four, you're gonna cross it. Number five, six, and seven, you're gonna uh, let them like that. And number eight, it say and you cross it. Sorry. So that's all from my part. I hope to see you soon, and please stay home. Hello guys, welcome back to your English class. Uh, today we're going to make an exercise number four that is in your student's book on page 99. So open your student's book. Okay, complete each sentence with who, that, or which where it's necessary, guys. Okay, first we're going to read all the sentence. Then you can pause the video and try to answer by yourself. And then we're going to check, okay? So we're going to start with number one that is uh, this is the shirt, blah blah blah, I made. Okay. In number two, we have shopping is an activity, blah blah blah, interest me. Okay. Number three, I have a cousin, blah blah blah, always gives me her old clothes. Okay. Number four, this is the old leather jacket, blah blah blah, I bought from my friend. Okay. Funny. <laughs> And number five, uh, that is the store, blah, blah, blah. We like because the clothes aren't expensive. And the last one, number six, uh, she's the friend, blah, 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 went shopping with me last week. Okay, guys, it's time to work. Uh, we have here many tips that I made for you to help you in the sentences, okay? So number one, you can skip relative pronouns when it is not the subject or it is a compliment okay and the tip number two try to identify in each sentence to find the relative pronouns okay try to identify the subject sorry the subject okay it's important to find the relative pronoun okay so pause the video take your time and then we're going to continue so pause the video i'm waiting i'm waiting Okay guys, did you finish? Excellent. So we're going to continue checking the answers. So in number one it says, this is the shirt, blah blah blah, I made. The correct option is nothing. Why? Because the important thing here is I made, not the shirt. So that we can skip the, the relative pronoun, okay? Let's continue with number two, that it says, shopping isn't, a, isn't an activity that or which interest me okay here the main thing or the or subject is shopping that's why we use which okay no problem guys excellent <laughs> number three i have a cousin okay cousin in this case who or that always give me her old clothes okay in this case we use who we're talking about a cousin so that's why we use who, okay? Number four, this is the old leather jacket. In this case, it's nothing I bought from my friend because the important thing is I bought from my friend, okay? It's not the leather jacket. So we can skip the relative pronoun. In number five, uh, we have, um, this is, that's the store, blah, blah, blah. We like because the clothes are inexpensive, okay? In this case, nothing is the, uh, the option because the important thing is we like because the clothes are expensive, not the store. So we can, we can skip the relative pronoun, okay? And finally, guys, uh, she's the friend who or that went to shopping with me last week. Uh, in this case, uh, we use who because we're talking about her, okay? In this case, she, who, who, she, okay? Excellent, guys, we have finished. So, uh, continue practice. I hope that you stay in your home and I see you the next class, okay? Bye. Okay, hey guys, um, this is activity number five and we'll see the vocabulary. Well, look at the list of words associated with stores and shopping. Use sentence with defining relative clauses to say what each thing is. Use your dictionary if necessary. So we have cash, clothes store, customer, online store, 
second hand store, shopping mall, checkout, credit card, furniture store, salesperson, security guard, supermarket. Okay, now I'm going to add a little photo above each word so you can understand it a little better. Okay, and we're going to repeat it. Now. We're going to repeat them again. So we have cash, online store, customer, clothes store, second hand store, okay, then shopping mall, checkout, credit card, furniture store. And finally, we have salesperson, supermarket, security guard, okay? Now, I'm going to give you two examples. One is already in your book, and the other one I'm going to give it to you. A customer is a person who buys something in a store. A second-hand store is a store where you can buy cheap used items, most commonly clothes. So, there are 12 words, but I already give you two. So, with the remaining 10 words, that's the activity for you, make sentence with defining relative clauses. Who, that, which, where. You can see that in the example, we use... A customer is a person who buys something in the store. The relative clause there is who. In the second example, a second-hand store is a store where you can buy cheap used items, most commonly clothes. The relative, the relative clause there is where. So, that's what you have to do with the other 10, okay? And, well, I think that's it. See you. Be safe.